receive a 30% federal solar tax credit. Zero down, zero interest, and zero payments for 12 months. For all offers, call 415-367-0747 or visit SemperSolaris.com. Expires October 31st, 2022. TSLB 978152. It's not often that something you like is actually good for you. Take sleeping on your side. Studies indicate that side sleeping can help with nighttime breathing. If European sleep works, and many other sleepers create the comfort and stability they need. From their unique contoured mattresses to their patented cuffs and oxygen pillows. After all, for over 50 years, they've been working on your side. And that's a good thing. European Sleep Works at Adeline and Ashby in Berkeley or online at sleepworks.com. KCBS Newstime 12. Congressman Lee Zeldin. More from WCBS TV reporter Marsha Kramer. For the most part, the one and only debate between Democrat Kathy Hochul and Republican Lee Zeldin revolved around the themes they have sounded on the campaign trail. Zeldin is the focus on public safety, bail reform, firing Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg, and ending congestion pricing. Hochul pointing out that Zeldin does not support abortion rights and is, in her words, an election denier. A magnitude 5.1 earthquake rattled the San Francisco Bay Area Tuesday, just before noon local time. More from KPIX TV reporter Katie Nielsen. It didn't scare me because it didn't last very long. It was a short one. Patsy Paul is no stranger to big earthquakes. She and her family lost their home in the Santa Cruz Mountains during the 1989 Loma Prieta quake. Something she says immediately came to mind. It's October 17th. Yes. Yeah. Here we are again. Thankfully, this time, there haven't been any reports of major damage or injuries. I'm Peggy Barker in London, 26 hours into the job, and it's into the lion's den. Rishi Sunak makes his first prime ministerial appearance in Parliament today, defending policy he hasn't even announced yet. The signals so far, Britain's deep economic problems will require difficult decisions, code for tax hikes 
and spending cuts. The U.S. Department of Education is pressing on with President Biden's plan for student loan debt forgiveness. Even as the legal challenges against it play out, this is Education Secretary Miguel Cardona. We know 40 million people are counting on us to, to fight for them, and we're going to continue to fight for them. The restaurant is admitting it made a mistake staying open after a woman died in the bathroom earlier this month. The owner of Jasper's, which has been open in Laurel, Maryland for more than 30 years, says employees perform CPR on the woman, but he says now he should have closed the front door and let the uh, diners decide whether they wanted to stay. This is CBS News. If you need to hire, you need Indeed. Their end-to-end -end hiring system helps you attract, interview, and hire candidates all in the same place. Visit Indeed.com slash credit. Uh when my little girl has a stuffy nose, she just can't rest. Mom! And neither can I. So I use Vicsinex Children's Saline Nasal Mist to instantly clear her mucus right at the source. It provides fast, drug-free relief from everyday stuffy noses. It's relief for both of us. Vicsinex Children's Saline. Use is directed to keep out of reach of children. Finding the right Medicare plan? Ugh, no easy feat. Kind of like those dances my granddaughter loves making me do. But then I found Walgreens Find Our Coverage. Let's you compare plans online, over the phone, or in person. Made Medicare shopping so easy. Plus, I found plans with low-cost coping. I can get down with that. When you need to talk Medicare, Walgreens is here. Start shopping today at walgreens.com slash Medicare. History has been made on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. German singer Kim Petras has become the first publicly non-binary and transgender artist to hit number one on the Billboard chart, thanks to her collaboration with Sam Smith. Unholy debuted earlier this month and spent a few weeks at number two before topping the chart on Monday. But Petrus isn't exactly a newbie in the music industry. She's released singles for years and worked with other big stars like Beyonce. She tells Entertainment Weekly she may be the first, but hopes she's not the last trans artist to top the charts. Monica Ricks, CBS News. The House January 6th Investigating Committee has been interviewing former longtime close Trump aide Hope Hicks. Although Hicks didn't play a major role in the Trump administration's response to the insurrection, she was working in the White House at the time. Oh, Christopher Cruz, CBS News. Right. Yeah. It's 105 at the Bay Area's news stop. station, KCBS. No. Now the clouds and fog are back, yeah, partly uh, along the coast. It'll be sunny and breezy yeah, today, 60s up. and right. low 70s. Yeah. Good morning, I'm Elisa Clancy. And here's what's happening at this hour. It was a mighty jolt, but no reports of injuries or damage from that 5.1 earthquake that struck east of San Jose just before noon yesterday. KCBS's Keith Minconi surveys the aftermath. It's the strongest quake that the Bay Area has felt since the damaging Napa earthquake that struck in 2014. But this time, it seems like we've gotten off relatively easy. Nothing broke miraculously. It's just a, just enough to really get my attention. I got up and I was headed for the doorway and it backed off. Those are just a few of the people who called into KCBS to report their quake experience from as far afield as the Central Valley. But damage or no, this is a quake that many residents will remember for some time. That one lasted longer than they usually do, so I knew this was a good shaker, for sure. Meantime, Anne-Marie Balte with the U.S. Geological Survey says it appears that the quake was centered on the Calaveras Fault Zone, which has quite the history of shakers. Numerous moderate earthquakes have historically occurred in the area, including the larger magnitude 6.2 Morgan Hill earthquake in 1984. As for the possibility of a strong aftershock, Balte puts the chance of another follow-on quake of magnitude 5 or higher at only 1 in 100. In the South Bay, Keith Mancone, KCBS. This earthquake also presented another real-world test for the state's Shake Alert app. 
CBS. So this key, uh, Chris and Carlo is track track how well it worked. The shake alert system went online in California three years ago, and this was the biggest test in the Bay Area. Richard Allen is the associate director of the Seismic Lab at UC Berkeley. I can see that many people received that message before before they felt the shaking. Dr. Anne Marie Balte is a seismologist with USGS. She says the system generated an alert five seconds after the USGS detected an earthquake with an estimated magnitude of 4.5.